Hello friends, welcome to Motilal Oswal. As you know, market capitalization for a company, which is most commonly referred to as market cap, is equal to the current share price multiplied by the number of shares outstanding of the company. In the stock market, not every company has the same market capitalization. Some companies like Reliance or Tata Consultancy Services or State Bank of India have very high market capitalization, while a relatively new company might have a smaller market cap. Types of companies according to market cap. Listed companies are categorized into various groups considering their market capitalization. That's why in the stock market, SEBI, the governing body, has made a rule to categorize companies according to their market capitalization. These are large cap, mid cap, and small cap. So now, let us look at five characteristics of large cap funds and mid cap funds. Number one, SEBI's definition of large, mid, and small cap companies. The top 100 companies listed on the stock market are the large cap. Companies that rank between 101 and 250 according to their market cap are called mid cap. Companies that rank after 250 in the market are called small cap. Number 2. Relation of companies and mutual funds. Mutual funds are classified into various categories according to the market cap of the companies that they have invested in. A large cap mutual fund has to mandatorily invest at least 80% of its money in large cap securities. A mid-cap mutual fund must invest at least 65% of its wealth in mid-cap companies. A small-cap mutual fund must invest no less than 65% of its assets in small-cap stocks. So one thing that is clear from the above data is that if it is a large-cap mutual fund, it may not invest all its wealth in large-cap companies. Fund managers are expected to adhere to prescribed limits. Same thing applies for mid-caps and small-caps. Number 3. Benefits of investing in large cap fund In the market, the large cap mutual funds are the preferred active mutual funds as they invest in the most well-known companies. Their long track record, corporate governance, reputation and financial strength of the stocks makes them more trustworthy. Hence, large cap mutual funds are generally considered good for investors who believe in steady wealth creation. Number four, disadvantages of investing in large cap funds. Mid cap and small cap equity mutual funds can provide a better return compared to large cap owing to their growth potential. On the contrary, when markets correct, these mutual funds tend to disappoint when their fall is higher than the large cap mutual funds or the benchmark. Number five, market cap flexibility. Multi-cap mutual funds invest across small cap, mid and large cap stocks but with an equal measure of 25% each, leaving 25% flexibility with the fund manager. Flexi-cap funds on the other hand can invest in any stock irrespective of the company's market cap without being constrained by a given proportion. When markets are growing, both these funds tend to make higher return by increased mid and small cap allocations and the ability to shift across market caps. We hope you have learned something new today as it is our constant endeavor at Motila Oswal to educate and make an investor a sound investor. Happy investing! Mutual fund investments are subject to market risks. Read all scheme-related documents carefully.